we the people of the world are making me a woman of the world so proud right now we started this year of the autonomy in every season knowing that we have to take matters into our own hands and that a little bit of solidarity can take us a long way and in Taurus season we started with the question what that voice do and look at the students of the world right now using their voice letting it be heard letting it be known that this is not what we're building our this foundation for. It's not for the old structures, institutions, and traditions. This foundation is for the future, the collective, and for the people. This new moon in Taurus may have happened in the neighborhood of the North Node for some people. So no, this is exactly what you're using your voice for, to build new structures. And in order to build, you need to break down. So yeah, your voice is good in either stage. And for some people, this new moon may have happened in the neighborhood of your south node. And the south node is a comfort zone you can take your lessons and blessings out of and grow towards your north node. And the north node, uh, well, in Scorpio, of course. And Taurus is your personal possession. Scorpio is the shared possessions. So personal possession, my voice, I'm very comfortable with it. But you know why I don't really like to share it too much? Because nine years ago, when I was 20 years old, this police officer started like blowing me kisses and winking at me. So 20 years old, me was like, I'm gonna blow you a bird. <sighs> they, talk, they took four hours of my life, 500 euros and my dignity and increased the PTSD. So I don't go outside anymore. But that does not stop me from being inside and telling you, remember that Pluto retrograde? Now, Pluto Retrograde is really here to break down all of those old structures, all those old traditions, all the buff ditty, the police, like, a cat, everything. Yeah, you know what? Let's just start with week 20. We start week 20 on Monday, the 13th of May, when the sun will be in a conjunction with Uranus. So the sun, I am, in Taurus, I have, I am in the possession of. This knowledge and this voice to tell you that Uranus is the planet of the rebellion, the, the, the genius eccentricity, so your own originality, and that future orientation, humanitarian technology, whatever. So I'm going to use this uh, astrology to tell you when Pluto is moving retrograde into Capricorn starting from September, it will be so easy to blow all those things down. Like the wolf blowing down the like, house of the three little piglets was this nothing compared to what we can do when we're going, just going to kick the system with Pluto in Capricorn. Because it's the last time. So everything that's still kept in place because we didn't focus like, oh, we need to change this. We need to destruct this. We need to destroy that. That's why you need to focus. That's why your attention is so important. That's why I, uh, I type everything that I neglect to say in the video down in the, in the description. But, yeah. Now I told you. Now you, you possess this knowledge. What are you going to do with it? How are you going to evolve? How are you going to change? How are you going to make it something of your own? Either way, it's out of genuine love. Genuine Oh, genuine love that I'm telling you this because out of genuine love I'd love to see the world do better it's great but it could be better <laughs> it could always be better either way the genuine love that you have can will and always has lifted boundaries and limitations because Venus is a home in Taurus. I love what I have. I love these possessions. I possess, uh, apparently, I possess the skill to read astrology. Because wasn't I right like three weeks ago at the beginning of Taurus season? And look at the end of Taurus season right now. Anyway, um, I am loving this. In the first feminine sextile with Saturn. And that first sextile is a time to be dedicated, persist with your goals. And Saturn, those boundaries, limitations of probably ruler of Capricorn in the olden days. Are you going to keep uh, keep it nostalgic, thinking about the olden days? Oh, we're going to bring it back, bring it back. Bring... You have the power to change. You, out of genuine love, out of genuine interest, you have, will, and can. So do it again. Off to Wednesday, the 15th of May, when the sun will be in a earth trine with Lilith. So the sun, I am in the possession of. You know exactly uh, in the possession of what you are. And remember, we have those houses of life, houses of wealth, houses of uh, relationships, uh, relations, and houses of endings. What do you have? What do you possess? Where do you? Where can you be vocal enough to say, I have enough experience, so now I may share. 
I may share, I may share these skills and services that I have su uh, suppressed. During the new moon in Taurus, I was at work and a colleague of mine, he was talking about something that happened. And as he was venting his heart, like the, the person he was talking to was like, oh yeah, it happened to me too. And it happens so much more than you would think. Talk about it. So in some description I said like, uh, and also, uh, why are you telling us about your PTSD? Why are you exposing yourself so much? More? I'm exposing myself enough to heal. Pluto is the healer. If you want to heal, expose that wound to the air, expose that wound to the light so it can heal. So something can, so that's what the colleague did and it healed. And eventually it started aching me, it started irking me because they were like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. hey, 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 hey. Have no fear, Shimon is here, and I'm gonna turn it all biblical on you because do not pray for hard times not to uh, not to reach you. Pray for the strength to overcome, sweetheart. Because these hard times, all that PTSD, what happened to me, it builds character, it builds strength. It's a lesson to learn in this life. And look at how amazing I am. It took a minute, wait a minute. It took a minute, but I'm amazing. You are amazing. Stop suppressing your stop suppressing for real. Mercury will be entering will be entering Taurus. I think I have. Think about all your assets. Think about all your skills. This weekend, like I was with my bestie and her boyfriend, and like her boyfriend's also kind of like my bestie, but uh, he said, No, I have to ask my girlfriend. And the girl he was talking to immediately thought it was to me. I know I'm beautiful, but life hasn't always treated me like that. But embrace, embrace, stop suppressing. You have a lot of skills. You can do a lot with it, but stop, uh, stop suppressing and let those things work in your favor. I got all this greatness. You got all that greatness. What you going to do with it? Want to suppress it? Keep it home in the dark? Nah, you're not going to do that anymore. Think about your assets and how you can use it, how you can monetize your trauma i'll probably be saying this until uh next year next astrological year but monetize your trauma later in the day we have the first quarter in uh, in leo on 25 degrees 25 degrees aries degree aries no chill leo no chill leo is a whole hype man i mean look at me look at me i'm your favorite hype woman you didn't even ask for but <laughs> No, um, hype yourself up. You, you, you got to be your own Kanye. You got to be your own Kanye. How do you think Kanye got where Kanye is? Be your own Kanye. Okay, I'm not. Shh. You know your work best. You know this is what I can do. This is what I cannot do. My, all this hype, woman, not everyone really deserves it, by the way. Change your perspective. Change your perspective. Like, okay, they may need it, but do they deserve it? And that's how you feel like unappreciated, undervalued, baby. And that's how you go suppress it later. I don't know how much more I can say for you. Is Murphy going direct again? Because my mind is racing again. Off to Friday the 17th of May when Murphy will be in its first square with Pluto. So Mercury, I think I uh, I think I have. I am in, the, uh, in possession of these thoughts in a square with Pluto. Oh, in retrograde. So I find it difficult to feel empowered, to feel controlled over your knowledge. Rethink your assets. Again, knowledge also stems from experience. Feel the feels. Like, I could not share half of what I share with you if I didn't have the experience. You, I wouldn't even be believable if I didn't even have the experience. So, yeah, I could be soft. Like, uh, uh, I'm, uh, I'm not even 30 years old and I got all this experience. To share. To share. Wounded healer. <laughs> Heal, baby. Not only yourself, but also others. Well, <laughs> it's depending on... These are the shared. This is outside. This is inside. So my, my north node is inside. South node is outside. I am very comfortable inside. But we need to go outside. Steve Lacey didn't sing outside. He's kind of inside. Feel the feels. How does it feel? How did it make you feel? And how can you overcome that feeling? 
Because I also told the colleague, like, uh, okay, I see you really hurting and all this uh, tough exterior isn't helping for you, but make it tangible. Make it a whole experience. I remember when I was going through it. You you remember the burnout I talked about in the secret of the struggle? When I was going through it, she, uh, well, I was just sort of telling my story and she was like, uh, oh, so like shaving your head is kind of like a ritual for you. And I was like, yeah, sure. I'm not half as spiritual as you think, Lux. But yeah, apparently it is. A, <laughs> it was a ritual for me. Like shaving my head is like new beginning, new me. What am I going to do? Like start life over again? I do not have that power. But I do have the power to shave the head. I think you have the power. I think you have the power for And if it's a ritual, make it a ritual. If you need to do a dance, do a dance. If you want to sing a song, sing a song. If you want to write a song about it, go write a song. It, it's, your, it's your life. It's your life. Let it out. Let's end this week real quick on Saturday the 18th, last day of Taurus season, when Mars will be in a conjunction with the North Node and does an opposition with the South Node. So the North Node, where we're collectively grown towards, who you are. I am. I act in who I am. And in opposition with the North Node, I act and I let go of this comfort zone of these people, of being too... Um, to um, Libra. <laughs> I, I like Libras a lot. But uh, later in the day, Venus will be in a conjunction with Uranus. I love what I possess and I evolve in what I possess. And the Sun will be in a conjunction with Jupiter. So I am possession of and I have grown in my possession. So, yeah, long story short, Venus did not make it, that conjunction with uh, with uh, Jupiter and Taurus season. But we'll be in a conjunction in our home sign with Jupiter, but not in the season of. So, let's, last day of Taurus season, Mars, uh, conjunct North Node, grow into someone who also feels. Because, uh, Aries, you don't feel too much. You, do, you, do, you don't even think. Aries, what's your... Where's my auto? Mar yeah, Aries feel because that that also that also how so at the end of the day like when you're twenty years further you can say actually I felt like this and I do not deserve it or I do deserve it and but grow into someone who also feels because <clears throat> feelings are also a part of life. Venus in a conjunction with Uranus, uh, like Rabel Bell said, broaden your horizon to broaden your pockets. <coughs> Excuse me. Broaden your horizons or also broaden your pockets. It's more than just money because remember, Taurus is what the things, thoughts that manage and create your abundance, or things, thoughts that block your abundance. It's about so much more than money. Feel the feels because Taurus is all. Ruled by Venus, all about sensation, seeing, hearing, smelling, feeling, touching, all those things. Uh, Venus with, uh, with Uranus. You know exactly how you can evolve, how you can expand. And like I don't say it with me, monetize your trauma. Because it may have hurt back then, but yeah, you can teach others with it. So evolve, expand. You, you grew up, and talking about growth, sun. I have. I am in possession of Jupiter. I expand and grow. Yeah, you need to change the perspective first. But we're going to talk all about the advertisements that are trying to blur our perspective in Gemini season. I'll see you back then.